Hello students. This is the last video of the first chapter Crop Production and Management of Class 8. In this video, we shall discuss about harvesting, threshing, winnowing and a small branch of biology, animal husbandry. See, once the crops are completely matured, these crops need to be cut and removed from the crop field. The process of cutting and removing the crops from the crop field is known as harvesting. Okay, harvesting is the process of removing the crops, okay, removing the crops from the crop field after complete maturity. See, there are two tools which are used for harvesting. The very common tool which are traditionally used by most of the farmers is a sickle. Sickle is a tool traditionally used for harvesting whereas a mechanized tool or a modern tool used for harvesting is the harvester. So sickle and harvesters are the two tools which are used for harvesting. See this is the picture of a sickle you might have seen. It is very common in our area. This is the sickle which is used in most part of our country for harvesting. Okay, this is the picture of the sickle which is a traditional tool. See this is the picture of an harvester. See, it is a modern tool or a mechanical tool, harvester. See, the harvester can cut a huge area of the crop. Therefore, this harvester can save lot of time and labor. What are the two advantages of using a harvester? One is that, as I told now, it can save the time as well as it can save labor. These are the two advantages of using a harvester. Are you clear now? This is the modern tool. You can see in the picture this is the harvester. Soon after harvesting, the next step we have to perform is threshing. Let us see what is threshing. You know that, see the grains are found attached with the stalk like this. Okay, the paddy grains and all found to be attached on the stalk. This is the stalk. Okay, this is how we can see. See, we need the yield in the form of grain. Grains are the main yield, yield for us. Therefore, the grains need to be separated from the stalk. The process of separation of these grains from the stalk is known as threshing. So, threshing is the process of separating grains from the stalk. See, this is the traditional way by which the grains are separated. Okay, a person is beating the stalk on the ground so that the grains will be separated from the stalk. This is the traditional way. The stalks are beaten on the ground so that the grains will be separated. So this is one method of threshing. See this is a modern machine which can perform harvesting as well as threshing. Here it is harvesting, here it is performing the function of threshing. So we can say that it is a combination of Harvester plus thresher. So the combination of harvester plus thresher is known as a combine. So combine is a modern device which perform both harvesting and threshing so that the farmers can serve lot of time as well as they can serve lot of labors. So what do you mean by combine? As the name indicate, combine. Combine is the combination of harvester and a thresher. 
see after crushing we know that in the grains there will be lot of husks as well as the chaff c h a f f see that means the powdered part of the stalk okay these husks and chaffs are unwanted things and these need to be removed the process of removing this husk and chaffs from the grains is called winnowing okay you can see here a picture of a lady who is performing winnowing here the winnowing is done with the help of air current or we can say that wind see when the grains are taken on a traditional winnower and it is put down so the heavy grain particles fall near to the person who is doing the winnowing and the lighter husk particles will be carried away little far by the wind speed so this is the traditional method of winnowing see this is a winnowing machine nowadays winnowing can also be done by a machine this picture shows the winnowing machine okay by this machine there will be rotating fan here see because of the wind the lighter particles will be removed so this is the modern device which is used for winnowing that is called a winnowing machine now after harvesting the people are very happy because their hard work over and they got their yield so it is the time of enjoyment in order to celebrate the harvest in our country many festivals are observed okay the important harvest festival in india are see one of the harvest festival that is pongal and another harvest festival is baishakhi okay baishakhi is an important harvest festival holi is another important harvest festival then onam okay onam is another harvest festival diwali and bihu okay all these are harvest festivals in india which are celebrated soon after harvest which are the important harvest festivals of india pongal baishagi holi onam diwali and bihu these are the different harvest festival which are celebrated in different parts of our country see the next step and the last step of crop production is the storage we got lot of grains and it is to be stored immediately or before the grains are sent to the market or it may be for the farmers personal use for any how we have to store the grains okay before storing we must make sure that the grains are the grains are properly dried if the grains are not properly dried what happens the microorganisms like fungus and bacteria may attack okay as well as the rat insects everything will attack on the grains therefore it has to be dried first after drying commonly we use jute bags isn't it commonly we use jute bags for storing if it is the cultivation is very limited okay the small scale farmers use jute bags and they store in their home but in a larger area when the cultivation is of huge area the storage is done in silos and granaries okay silos and granaries are the places where the grains are grains are stored in larger amount okay in large scale storage of grains are done in silos and 
granaries. See, this is the picture of silos. Okay, where the grains are stored in huge amount. See, silos, silos are huge metallic beams where the grains are stored in huge amount. See, before storing in silos, some chemical treatments are required for protecting the grains from microorganism. So, these are the picture of silos. So, where the grains are stored in larger amount? Grains are stored in larger amount in silos and granaries. Are you clear now? Hope you understood this part. To complete this lesson, we have to study one more, one more smaller area that is animal husbandry. What we studied was agriculture or crop production. How we done or how we performed various steps in agriculture or crop production. Similarly, there is a method of growing and rearing the animals which are useful to man. The branch of biology that deals with the study of rearing of animals. Okay, rearing of animals. Rearing means providing food to animals, providing shelter to the animals and providing proper uh, health care to animals. Okay, by taking care of the health, by providing shelter and by providing food, the animals which are useful to man are reared on a larger scale. This is known as animal husbandry. Okay, this animal husbandry, there are a lot of branches. See, pisciculture, that is rearing of fishes and rearing of honeybees, apiculture and rearing of silk moth for silk production that is called sericulture all these are different branches of animal husbandry therefore what do you mean by animal husbandry animal husbandry is the branch of biology that deals with the rearing of animals which are useful to human beings rearing means taking care of animals by providing proper food shelter and health are you clear now by this we completed the first topic. Thank you.